So in this lecture, we are going to discuss the Lash or the Lash mechanism and the stress relaxation. These are two phenomena that are related with the uh, smooth muscles. And what is basically Lash mechanism? It is just the decrease in the consumption of energy and the decrease in the excitation needed for the smooth muscle after it has been contracted. So we explain it with the help of a graph. For example, we have a smooth muscle and we want to contract it. Initially, a lot of energy in the form of nervous, um, uh, nervous stimulation or hormones will be needed to contract this muscle. So the energy consumption of the smooth muscle will increase. Similarly, the excitation needed for the smooth muscle, the contraction of the smooth muscle will also increase. So excitation will increase, the consumption of energy will increase and at the same time contraction will occur. So here we have the contraction and here we have the excitation and the energy consumption, the energy consumed by the smooth muscles. But after a passage of time, after some time, once the contraction has occurred, the contraction remained at this level. For example, initially the contraction was at this level. The contraction has reached this level, if you see. So the contraction remains at this level, but the amount of con con energy consumption and the amount of excitation that was needed, that has tremendously decreased in the passage of time. So initially, the, the consumption of the energy and the excitation was at high level, suppose it is level 10. But after some times, this consumption of energy and that excitation, nervous stimulation needed for contraction has decreased to this level, but the contraction remains the same. So what's the benefit of Lash mechanism? The benefit is that the smooth muscle can maintain contraction or the tone for a lot of time and smooth muscles are present in viscera like ureter, gallbladder, ureter and they need, they are in specific tone, partial contraction and for that tone to be maintained, the energy consumption should be less and small. So for initial contraction, the consumption increases but gradually the contraction remains the same, the contraction has reached this level, the contraction remains at this level. But the amount of energy has the amount of energy used by the muscle and the stimulation needed for the muscle decreased tremendously so that energy can be conserved the human in the human body and that mechanism is known as the lash mechanism now another phenomena of the stress um, of the smooth muscle is stress relaxation so what's basically stress relaxation? It is also somewhat related with this lash mechanism. When the, when the length of a smooth muscle is increased or decreased. For example, we have here a smooth muscle uh, gallbladder. Uh, sorry, this is a urinary bladder. It has urine in it. Suddenly the amount of urine increases in it and the bladder, the volume of the bladder increases so as soon as the volume of the bladder incre uh, increase due to high amount of urine this the muscle the smooth muscles in the bladder will stretch their length will increase as soon as their length increase their contraction will also increase so the contraction goes high and high and their volume also increase so the volume is also increasing and the contraction or the force of contraction needed is also increasing. But after a little while, after a little while, the force of contraction, it has remained the same. The, for, I'm sorry, the volume that the change in volume or the change in length of the smooth muscle, it remains the same. But the force of contraction that has decrease to the base level so initially the force of contraction was at this level as soon as the change in the length of the smooth muscles occurred 
the contraction initially increased the force of contraction in the smooth muscles initially increased this shows the contraction but after a small time the volume remains the same the stretch in the smooth muscles remain the same but the force of contraction in the uh, smooth um, smooth muscle has re uh, decreased volume remains the same while the, or the length remains the same but the contraction has decreased so it it's another mechanism to conserve energy the reverse stress relaxation also occurs suppose for example uh, he, uh, it has this small smooth muscle has a lot of pressure and suddenly the volume of the smooth muscle is decreased or the urine goes out and the relaxation or the occurs and the length of the smooth muscle decreases so initially the 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 contraction the force of contraction will decrease tremendously but after some some time it will slightly increase it will slightly increase and that will be known as reverse stress relaxation so these are two phenomena related with the smooth muscles one is the leish mechanism and the other is a stress relaxation or the reverse stress relaxation in leish mechanism after after the contraction of the smooth muscles the amount of excitation and the amount of energy needed for that contraction it decreases but contraction remains the same and in stress relaxation the amount of stretch or the amount of increase in volume that has occurred it re increases it remains the same but the force of contraction that initially occurred it decreases with the passage of time so hope you have understood this simple topic thanks a lot for watching the video